You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days fans. Belinda from Soap Dirt here, and we've got wedding day chaos by the end of this week and heading into next week as there is gunplay at Maggie's nuptials with Constantine. Instead of saying I do, someone needs to yell, watch out, because shots are fired. But who catches a bullet instead of the bride's bouquet? Well, let's talk about it. But first, please subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. So Maggie Horton has figured out that Greek bad guy who put the con in Constantine has been lying to her. She knows her groom wants Victor Kidiakis's fortune and is willing to marry and kill her to get it. Maggie didn't want to believe it, but John Black and Marlena Evans proved it to her. Remember, Khan thought he still had the power over John Black with that pawn card that he was so awful to Thomas DeMera to get back because he knew that was his key to controlling John. But turns out it's useless. John got that whole brainwashing condition cleaned up, but Constantine did not know that and sent him into the Kitiakis safe to get the prenuptial agreement that was actually a decoy John had planted there. So Constantine burned a fake document and the real one is safe and sound. Plus Maggie set up things so it looks like Constantine has been embezzling from Titan. She doesn't just want him out of her life and out of her house. She wants him sent to the big house for theft. And Maggie set it up so it'll all come out at the wedding. She wants his walk to the altar to turn into a walk of shame out of her house, hopefully over to the Salem jail. So here's what we know and what we're wondering. We know there are shots fired at the wedding and someone is shot at the wedding, but we don't yet know who. We've got some ideas and we want to discuss what would be the soapiest outcome of this shooting. Who's the one to catch some lead and get carted off to University Hospital? So we do know Maggie doesn't actually get hitched to Constantine. Looks like she may drop some truth bombs, you know, when they get to the part. Does anyone here know why these two should not be wed, speak now, or forever hold your peace? And Maggie is not holding back anymore. Instead of wedding cake, they should be serving humble pie. A make sure Khan gets a huge slice on his way out the door, hopefully arrested and then deported back to Greece. Maggie postponed the wedding until the day that Constantine's visa expires. So he has absolutely no wiggle room, no way to escape his fate. And I just wonder if he's the one who brought a gun to the wedding, you know? I mean, that's crazy to do, but he might. And if he does, is John bringing a gun? Is Patch bringing a gun? So I want to talk about five people that are possibilities of of who could get shot at the wedding. And I want to talk about the dramatic effect of each of these options. So number one, Steve or John. I've lumped the guys together because they're working together to take down Constantine. Steve and John have shot people before. And if I recall correctly, I think both of them have been shot before. And if one of them is shot by Constantine, the angry, vengeful, jilted groom, I'm sure they'll survive. What's funny, ironic, is Kayla Brady didn't want Steve to go to Montana on the Clyde search because of the danger. But the wedding a few miles down the road in Salem might be even more dangerous to patch. Will Constantine pull out the pawn card and order John to shoot Maggie or Steve? I mean, that would be soapy. And I can see Con pulling a piece at his own wedding and waving it around. But even if John or Steve are shot, they'll live. Got no doubts about that. The second person I want to talk about, Sarah Horton. Sarah would be a very soapy and dramatic option as the shooting victim. Of course, Sarah's going to be there. Her mom's getting married. And oddly enough, Sarah's pretty soft about Constantine. She buys a lot of the BS that he is selling. Then again, you know, Xander thoroughly snowed her in the past. So her gullibility is not such a surprise. But I can see Sarah throwing herself in front of her mother to protect her from this villain and getting shot. Or Constantine could take Sarah hostage and use her as a human shield to get away, and then he shoots her. All right, the next person I want to talk about, Xander Cook. In the same vein as Sarah jumping in front of her mother to protect her, I could totally see Xander jumping in front of Sarah or her mother or both to protect them. He's a big guy, and he wouldn't be scared to face down a gun to protect either of the Horton women that he loves so much. 
I can confidently say that Xander Cook would be 100% willing to take a bullet for either of them. And he hates Constantine, doesn't trust him, hates the idea that Maggie is marrying him. So Xander may be on high alert at the wedding looking for any opportunity to end this farce. If Xander is shot, I know full well he survives because he's still filming, gets married to Sarah in like a few weeks, maybe a month. It would be nice to see Xander play hero, but I have more satisfying shooting targets to talk about. Number four, of course, Maggie Horton may be at risk. After all, you know, Constantine's plan was to marry and kill her. Maybe he decides if he can't do the marry part, he's just going to go ahead with the kill part, even though the marriage didn't work out. Would he shoot Maggie thinking that would hurt Victor, you know, from beyond the grave? So Maggie rejects and humiliates Khan. So I could see him losing his temper, pulling out a gun. And from there, I can imagine any of the guys at the wedding to make brave moves to save her, except maybe Alex Kidiakis. He's, you know, more of a lover than a fighter, not a particular fan of Maggie's. I do not think he would take a bullet for her. Now, Ben Weston might have done it, but Rob Wilson's playboy alter ego Alex I don't think so but even if Maggie is shot I'm certain she will also survive all right number five last and certainly not least my favorite candidate for whose shot is Constantine Melionis himself he is just the worst oh my gosh John Capellos did a great job creating a character that literally no one likes nobody in Salem I don't think anybody watching days maybe it's just John Capellos and Ron Carlovati who think he's great. He is despicable. He is slimy. He talks too much and he's just irritating to the core. He's the kind of guy that in real life, if you knew somebody like that and you saw him coming, you'd be like, Ugh, and you just do a 180 and just walk the other direction as fast as you can. So I definitely hope the bullet lands in Constantine and it's fatal. So we never have to see his smug face again or hear that voice again. But I believe even if Khan is the one who's shot, I think he is going to survive just based on the spoilers for next week where he says something cryptic to Xander, Brady, and Alex about Victor's real son. So it looks like we're going to have to wait until Monday to find out who brought a gun to the wedding instead of, say, you know, a toaster or a blender for the happy couple. The saying that the bride needs something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. No one mentioned a gun. So we can only hope this is the last we see of Constantine Melionis, no matter who is shot at the ceremony. Let me know in the comments, who do you think is going to be shot at this wedding? Please subscribe if you haven't. Definitely come back soon. As always, this is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we are here talking days of our lives seven days a week. Come back soon. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 